all right guys what is up and welcome back to another youtube video y'all can't tell by the title in today's youtube video we are getting into another braid tutorial we are doing knotless goddess box braids with human hair from white wigs really happy i got this opportunity to work with white wigs to bring you guys this style so without further ado let's get into products and the hair and everything you're gonna need to get this style going okay y'all let me show you what came in the bag so white wigs sent me a couple of things including the bulk braiding hair so they gave me this really nice rat tail comb which i'm excited about because i love the metal tips and the tops where there's gaps for really precise braiding so this is going to come in handy and it's really sturdy and then they also sent me a crochet hook and a gator clip which these are always nice to have um okay let's get to the hair so excited so i was sent three bundles for maximum fullness okay look at the quality of these curls this is the water wave texture for their bulk braiding hair and then look at how pretty this is y'all like this is real human hair and the style is going to be top tier because of these bundles they have sent me now this is two of the 22 inch here and then i've got one 20 inch um in the color natural all right y'all as for other products i will be using in addition to my curly bundles for the goddess look i have got a tangle teaser brush of course and then my shining jam i've got four clips and a braiding rack now if you don't have a braiding rack as a beginner i really do recommend it because it's going to help you stay organized and it's gonna help you go by faster. You don't have to stop to section. So I recommend you guys get a braiding rack. And then hair. <clears throat> so any braiding brand will do. Um, I had some leftover braiding hair that I'm going to use. And then I've also got some braiding hair that I brought from the hair store. Plenty more than what I will probably use. But I will let you guys know how many packs and things that I use at the end of the video. Um, and then everything is in the color 1B, but without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you guys my setup with my braiding wrap. I've got half with braiding hair, the other half with the curly water wave hair from Y Wigs. We're going to get started. Taking off this bonnet, we are starting on stretched hair. This is a lazy girl stretch, but if you all want to see how I do a really good kind of seamless really almost bone straight heatless stretch method just let me know i'll let you guys know how i prep my hair for protective styles now if you want to be more time effective and efficient i suggest you all pre-parting a day ahead just so this process is even more quicker and you can go through it even faster very very good pro tip okay let's talk about sections so i'm gonna have one big section in the back one big section in the back and then two in the front three sections total okay our parting here is from ear to ear. Want to make even parts so we can get a nice back section and two good even front sections start with the really good base and this is why i really like this comb. if you want to easily go from ear to ear and you've got a middle part so you're trying to go from ear to ear start where your part ends in the back of your head literally draw a straight line down take where that part kind of releases and then boom look at how crisp that part is foolproof every time foolproof okay we're gonna clip it back for the time being and brush it out we're gonna clip off this section as well and do the other side start at the back of the middle part literally draw straight line down and we're gonna do away with the two front section. Just because we've already got them parted off, we just want to put these down here. Okay, now that you've pinned or just ponytail these top two sections, you have got your ear to ear part, basically. If you don't have like one of those mirrors you can set up and you know, you can see all dimensions of your head, I suggest you getting a mirror that way, or a full standing mirror, 
that way you can really see what you are doing but yeah back part here we are going to go mid ear there boom since we're doing small to medium i'm gonna do three braids on this back row this back row. Pinned up the very back section that we're not using quite yet. And let's start on this one. Take a little bit of shining jam. Put it on the roots there. Turn around so you guys can see a little better. Put it on the roots. We're knotless. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna break up your section into threes. And with these three sections, you're gonna start the top of your braid just like a regular braid, right? But I'm gonna take a little bit of hair and we're gonna insert it. I loop my feet ends in between my pointer and my thumb and I loop it around one of the sections, let it fall, and then we begin braiding. And I take about, I wanna say four to five feet in sections depending on the thickness I want for my braid. And at the top here, we're gonna take a curly piece. Okay, and you loop these in the same exact way as you would a feed in for the braid here. Pointer and thumb. After you've knotted it down a little bit, you don't wanna lose that longer curly piece of hair you're gonna take it out okay and you're gonna throw it behind your shoulder or clip it however you want to do and continue to break down adding more shine and jam so our sections or our own natural hair is evenly saturated and moisturized and nothing happens and i'm gonna add in another piece of curly hair because girl i told y'all i want max amount of fullness and when I say max amount of fullness, I mean it. Same thing here. Take back that curly hair. And then continue to braid down. Ooh. okay one and done i'm gonna continue this entire process for the back of my head my time lapse get on a lot of netflix and i will see y'all again when i finish with the back of my hair sectioned off in rows we are going to start braiding in the front okay 
we have got one braid left. Almost to the end, ladies and gentlemen. to show you guys finishing looks, touches, things like that. What's up, y'all? I'm back. I didn't like the outro I filmed for you a couple of days ago. Basically, after I finished, I did go ahead and comb the curly hair through, make sure everything was detangled. If you wanna go ahead and put foam over your entire style to make it more sleek and everything, go ahead and do that. But I've got a lighter texture hair, which putting too much product on it, it'll make my scalp itch, scratch. So I just voided that step and went ahead and sprayed the curly hair to make it wet and contained. So it laid down a little bit more, things like that. For maintenance, whenever you are just going from day to day, what I recommend you doing with the curly hair is making sure it stays detangled. And how you're gonna do that, um, basically what I do is I have this little small spray bottle, which I've done half and half leave-in conditioner um, and water. Use your favorite leave-in, however you want it to. Shake this bottle up. I spray this on the curly hair and my braids. You know what I mean? What my hair is to condition throughout the whole entire time. We're gonna have a protective style um, to make sure it's protective. And I go through and I put it on the curly hair, comb it through, make sure it's moisturized, keeps everything detangled, looking good and sleek. Um, and on top of that, after the hair dries, I go in with my OGX. Um, argan dry oil to like smooth everything through make sure everything stays moisturized and as for my scalp go in with my trusty dusty oil this is an old oil bottle um, but what I do is I make my own oil blend by using a base oil like avocado almond grapeseed and I put essential oils in it so peppermint tea tree eucalyptus rose that's what I have in here and I put that on my scalp on a daily basis sometimes twice a day once in the morning, once at night. And of course, you got your base edge control. Um, I'm using Kiss Edge Holder Watermelon. Other face. than that, she's pretty much pretty good maintaining herself. Um, I am going to put out a video where I show you guys different styles, how to do, you know what I mean? How to make these look really good with multiple different styles, things like that. I plan on putting a video out, um, but yeah. I'm gonna let myself outro this video. If I choose not to, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see next. Follow me on Pinterest. Um, I don't have Instagram. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my snap in the description and on this video somewhere so you guys can let me know if you do this style, reach out to me, follow me on there. I wanna hear you guys' feedback. I like interacting with you all. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.